everybody and welcome back. In this video lecture, we will understand what is onerous contract and how do you deal with it when you are preparing your books of account. It is covered under IAS 37, which talks about provisions, contingent asset and contingent liability. Let's understand onerous contract. Onerous contracts are simply loss making contract. In simple words, I would say they are loss making contract when, when the cost or I would say unavoidable cost exceeds benefits. Or in simple words, you can say they are loss making contract. Definitely none of the business enters into a contract with a vision, with a perspective of earning losses. Definitely not. But sometimes due to some conditions, change in economic conditions, maybe change in legal, governmental, environmental conditions, it might be possible that the contract entered was profitable, but while execution, it has become a loss making. Let's understand with the help of example. Uh, let's say you are a hotel chain or a restaurant, okay, and you have taken up a deal with a school and says that, okay, we will supply meals to you, okay, midday meal, maybe. Now example, on the day of contract, let's say, on the day of contract, contract, example, the contract took place on 1st Jan, let's say, the price was, okay, the costing was only uh, 70 rupees per meal, whereas the selling price that you have agreed on was example, rupees 80. But, you said that, okay, this contract will take, uh, will initiate on the day when the new uh, admissions start, when the new, I would say, the financial year, their uh, standard start. So, we are saying that, okay, example, from 1st May onwards, the new sessions will start and thereby they will start delivering the midday meals. Example, let's say the selling price is exactly same, which is rupees 80 as per the contract. But let's say because of some reason, the costing has incurred has become 85. Earlier when the contract was entered into, the cost was lesser and the selling price was higher. So earlier it was entered as a beneficial contract. But later on, on the date of execution, you feel like no. Now, even if you complete the project, there will be a complete loss of 5 rupees per meal. This is how it has become loss making contract. This is how you can say the costing has increased benefits. This is how you can say this is uh, these types of contracts are known as onerous contract. Now the question arises, how can you record this onerous contract? So onerous contracts are recorded at lower of. So you will calculate first net cost of completing the contract of fulfilling the contract of fulfilling of fulfilling the contract, net cost of fulfilling the contract and then you will calculate if there is any compensation, okay, uh, penalty on cancellation of contract, if there is any, you will calculate both of them and figure out whichever is lower which ever is lower will be considered as a provision amount. This is the amount at which we will record a provision as per IAS 37. I hope this becomes clear. Do not worry. We have a very good example waiting for you in order to get the entire calculation, um, I would say practice and get a better clarity of the concept. Example, Buster Company has a contract that it believes to be onerous. The contract is for the purchase of 2000 liters of chemical in the production of laundry detergent. Buster Company has sold its laundry detergent business. So they have sold, sold up the business, but the forward contract they've undertaken for the purchase of 2000 
liters of chemical is not saleable they are not uh, they are unable to transfer the same so they will have to buy they will have to make a purchase of 2000 liters irrespective of whether they are running a business or not so the contract price is 150 per dollar so the, you will have to make a purchase okay cost will be 150 dollars while the spot price as of 30th September is 90th per dollar. So if you go and try to sell this, okay, selling price will be only $90. Can you say that there is a net loss? Net cost will be $60 per liter. Correct, 150 is costing, whereas the selling price will be only $90. So $60 is your um, expense is your cost if busted company cancels the contract a cancellation piece of 135 is payable so you'll compare it with uh, 135 this is your penalty this is your penalty amount 60 dollars per liter that is 2000 liters so this is how your entire net cost will be 120000 we will have to create a provision whichever is lower. So we will be creating a provision in our books of account of $120,000. I hope you're clear with the same. Look at this chart. I, I hope this chart will make it more easier. We have to take what is the unavoidable cost, net cost, and see what are the penalties. Compare penalties and compare net cost. The net cost is 120, penalties are 135. If you compare whichever is lower, your provision will be provision in books equals to $120,000. This was mentioned in IS 37. So as an accountant, if you come across any contract which will be a loss making in case if you complete that, then make sure you compare it with the penalty prices and compare the amounts, whichever is lower, you have to create a provision in the books of account as per our IFR standard. I hope this becomes very clear. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe in case if you like the video, if you found it very helpful. Also share it with students who are struggling with IFRS understanding. Thank you so much for watching. See you inside next video. Till then take care. Be safe. Stay tuned.